Oh my, it's that middle finger music. I'm getting tested. Oh with these blessings, I go hard with two jobs. Ain't been to church in seven months. Making music you can roll the blush, but I keep the curve. So the pain I feel, just being real. They talk down and they criticize to that blue in the face. What you do with the hate? Turn up, turn up for a check. You know why? You know, we live in direct, live in the flesh with the homie, with the brother, with the businessman. Mr. Carl Terry um, is the owner of the Last Dollar Movement brand that he do have going on. Um, you know, I've been seeing a lot of support coming from, you know, from the community, from, you know, the peers. Um, can you just give us a um, backdrop on how did this brand start and what really inspires you to continue out the process? Well, basically, uh, well, well, the brand really started, man, um, started with, with a vision between, you know, a couple of guys, man. Those being myself and my boy Marcus. Marcus um, out, of, out of Petersburg right now. Shout out to Marcus, man. And he adding even Marcus on Instagram, my boy. But um, it started with a vision between us two. And, um, you know, from there it grew. We, uh, I linked up, then I linked up with my partner, um, my own boy Dot, my boy Steve. You know, I call him Dot, though. And, um, you know what I'm saying? We linked up with him and we, formed, we pretty much formed Last Dollar. And that's how we came about. Since then, we've been going strong, though. Mastering what we doing and um, pretty much taking our time with it, but coming up with a with a product that that's that's of quality. How did you guys come up with the with the name? With the name, oh man, last dollar. I mean, it's it is what it, what it's what it was about, man. Everybody has been down to their last before, and they know what it feel like. What would you really sacrifice really for? For that last dollar. That that does mean a lot and that does impact people on all walks of life. Yeah. You know, that's something that anybody can relate to because we all been in that predicament where we are down to our last dollar. Right. And that's when we find our true character. So um, you know, I most definitely do respect and I salute that. Now what motivates you guys to keep going? Cause you know when you first starting off Things is not as easy as a lot of people think it's going to be. And as you see these days, it's a lot of clothing brands. It's just a lot of different avenues that you see. But what what sets you guys apart and what motivates you just to keep going despite, you know, the other brands that you see out? I mean, one thing I would definitely say is the diver diversity. You know what I'm saying? You know, we made up of, like I said, me and, my, me and two of my partners, like I said, we, we, we all come from a different background, but it's like we kind of all the same in, in different ways, you know what I mean? But but I like the diversity that we have because our, our ideas allow us to, to put out put out things that, you know, a lot of different people can relate to. Really, man, I'm inspired by, like, a lot of the local people that's that's doing their thing, man. You know, shouts out to... Uh, to Trav and uh, Sean, you know, with Vintage Duck, shout out to Megan, um, BU, shout out to uh, everybody else that's doing their thing, man, with, with the clothing, with their clothing fashions. And um, I seen you had uh, your interview, Contour, uh, was it Contour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, all Everybody that's local around um, in Danville or, you know what I'm saying, surrounding areas, man, That that's what really inspired me, man. Like, I want to, I want to leave my mark, you know what I'm saying, and say that I was here, you know what I mean? I want people to really know that I took I took my life seriously and you know, no matter what I went through, you know what I'm saying, I, I didn't let that, you know, keep me down. So one day I inspired to be on, you know what I'm saying, be on that TV, man. I want man say we all want we all want the best, man. We all want more than what we have. So it's a strong individual to, you know, know, you know, your self worth because it's a lot of insecure people that's out here. And right. it's a lot of people that's comparing themselves. A lot of people, people down talking the city, you know, talking bad about the city with all the crime that's going on. I mean, that's just the truth. I mean, yeah. it is what it is. Um, but yet you still push through whatever that you're going through because you know it's going to be worth it. Right. So most definitely, man. Now, um, speaking on that issue, speaking on the crime and everything that's going on inside Danville. Um, why do you think it's at an all-time high now? Mm. Uh, like I said, ain't no respect no more. <laughs> you know, a lot of people probably didn't said it before, said it before me, but it ain't no, you know, it ain't no respect no more. It go back to falling on the OGs. It's like the OGs probably didn't teach them right. You know what I'm saying? I know I looked up to the ones that was really, that was really, you know what I'm saying? I had making moves and 
really an inspiration to look up to, you know what I'm saying? To teach you how to be a, you know what I'm saying? To follow, follow and be a, be a man. And a man's supposed to take care of his family and, you know what I mean? And, 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 and put family first. And you, they do too much talking. Like, you talk too much. You need to listen. If you listen more than you talk, I'm telling you, you you'll be so much wiser, you know? But stop, stop letting TV raise my, raise these kids. I would stop, I would stop letting you know what I mean? These, the social media influence them too much. You know what I'm saying? Stand on your own. Put your phone down and and do some do some productive. Do something that means something down the, down the line. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's that's what I would do. We all, you know, it's stuff that's flash that catch our eye, but that's the that's the dessert. That's just what I like to call it. Yeah. You know, you still gotta eat your vegetables. We do appreciate you for the food, man. Now, you know, um, you you did mention that you were just getting out of class, oh, yeah. and that's something that I do. Took my hats off to anybody who's out there trying to further their education. Well, not trying, but actually is. Mm -hmm. Um, what are you taking up right now? What are you pursuing? Right now, you know what I'm saying, I just got back enrolled in school uh, this semester. You know, it's been a, been, a, been a while, a few years, a couple years off, you know what I mean, since I had my son. And, you know, I'm just now getting back into it, but it's the best, one of the best decisions that I ever made, man, for real. And if you ever have the opportunity to get back into school and uh, um, further your education, I would say to do it, man. Before you know it, it could be, you know what I'm saying, it could be taken away from you, you know what I'm saying, if you take it for granted. Going back to school, um, I definitely thought that that would, um, would help me further my knowledge in the bit in business in the business world we're trying to further my you know say our clothing line with last dollar and um and definitely grow that you know what i mean to a level that that we can expand and and uh capitalize on so i um i wanted to just to know more about it man i wanted to network more you know what i'm saying meet different people my professor is actually one of the greatest oh. guys man <laughs> what some advice can you give to you know the upcoming entrepreneur who may see what you're doing and may want to follow those same footsteps but don't have the proper support don't have the proper guidance don't have the um, positive encouragement what advice can you give to them so they can keep on pursuing their dream and their passion the, the advice that i would give to them would be to just believe in yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because that's where it starts first. You know what I mean? Um, in order for in order for um, your vision to, to actually happen and to take off, you know what I'm saying? It takes you to believe, and you gotta you gotta always shut out. You know, just shut out with anybody that may say you can't do it, or you know what I'm saying, might not like what you're doing right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not about them, because it's about you. You know what I mean? You live your life. You know what I'm saying? Don't let don't let what anybody else influence you on thinking, you know what I mean, determine, you know what I mean, if you can do it or not. <laughs> because ultimately, you got that, you make that choice. For the people who's watching, you, you know, for everybody who wants to stay posted, and I do believe who will stay posted, what's a good way that they can follow you and check for you and your brand, you and your team on yeah. social media? How can we find you guys? Oh, yeah. Um, you can check us out definitely uh, on our IG page, Instagram, um, at Last Dollar Clothing. You can check us out um, at our website too and see a few of the designs that we're gonna have uh, updated and posted throughout the throughout the months to come. Definitely um, New Year's be updating that. Please check that update. Um, that's lastdollarclothing.bigcartel.com. So um, just you know, click that link and um, it's actually on our IG page. You can check that out um, and also you know what I mean you can see us on Facebook too. You know what I mean Last Dollar Clothing on Facebook. Follow us um, to see what we got going on and. Um, for the people that do have shirts um, right now, and the ones that want shirts in the future, you know what I mean. Just uh, just contact us through you know through the social media if you can. Um, Appreciate the time that you did take out with us, brother. Oh, um, that's love, man. I'm talking about. <laughs> I was making sure. I was making sure. Ralph Jack, you know what I'm saying, came through out at me because, bro. Ralph Jack, one of the realest people I know, man. Most definitely, brother. Well, you know, we will stay glued with you. We oh, will continue to follow you. Most um continue getting getting that knowledge get the education man um stay blessed stay positive brother until next time danville matters man we appreciate you brother